Look at this gloomy, gloomy day, folks. This is what winter in Vancouver looks like. Come on, fist bump. Whoa, good job. Jasper, can you go ar -ar -ar. Can you go ar -ar -ar. Ar -ar. Oh, <laughs> so cute. I'll show these guys your new mullet. Turn around. Oh, 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 take your hat off a little bit. Mm, cute, cute, cute. <laughs> So as you saw, very gloomy week here in Vancouver. However, we're not gonna let us get that down because we got a very exciting first meeting today. I mentioned this before, but I'm partnering with a local ceramic artist. Ceramic artist? Ceramics artist, a ceramicist, and we're and we're working on some mugs for less shitty. So we're gonna go check out their studio today, do some filming, check out the mugs, and just kind of see the whole process. Very excited for that, um, and just kind of leaning more into the lifestyle kind of home goods category for less shitty. So yeah, very excited. Also, you can't even tell that I have a mullet with this hat on. Look at this, matchy matchy mullet couple. Joe oh, has a mullet that kind of looks like more Korean, more flowy, like. Yeah. And my haircut kind of just makes me look like Theo Vaughn. Yeah. <laughs> you know who that like is? Like hockey boy like, haircut. I like it. It's cute. I, no, I feel yeah. like more like Alabama redneck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. So back from exploring the city, it was so cool to see the whole ceramic making process and how he just makes this mug out of this ball of dirt. I'm gonna go back to see kind of the whole glazing process. Um, but yeah, super exciting. We checked out some of our favorite places. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but we're moving. Uh, about in a month. So we were kind of just scoping out some of like the home decor pieces that we were interested in We also came home to a few boxes. So we're gonna open these up with you. We gotta show them the intense holder a basketball Wow, Ryan got it as a little gift um, And yeah, it's an incense holder. The one that we picked up is from Aesop. It's the Kegaru aromatic incense with vetiver, igusa, and sandalwood mm. Mm. I also picked up this poppy strawberry lemon prebiotic soda. Poppy has been around, but in Canada we don't have them. Mmm, that is delicious. Mmm, oh, mm -mm. it's like an Italian soda. It's really nice. Next one is from Sephora. Very excited. One of my favorite lip oils from Merit. Next, we have mm. Mm -hmm. this. Tower 28 Luminous Tinted Balm that you can use either on your cheeks or for your lips. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> you gotta leave. I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented. You have to leave <gasps> it there. No. Oh. Next we got... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> now it's time for Ryan's package, which he's very excited ah. about. That's me my package! So pigmented, holy! Ah. One of the best coffee tampers on the market for home users. It has a nice wooden handle. And it's a, it's a weighted, pre-pressurized 
tamper, right? It's like a consistent yeah. weight every time. Also, we're in the process of selling our grinders and upgrading to the niche. So this one used to be at the studio. We already sold both our grinders. Got the espresso, and now we also got the white niche as well. Yeah, I am looking a little bit crazy with this blush. I did not know it was this pigmented. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Um, so we'll see you guys then. Morning, folks. So today is somehow even a more dreary day. Dreary? Dreary. Dreary. Oh my gosh. Dreary. Dreary, but drearier than yesterday. Um, it's pouring, but that's okay. This is how it is in Vancouver in the winter time. Currently on my way to the dermatologist. Um, kind of a long story, so I'll explain a little bit later. But um, yeah, let's go. Look at this cute fleece. Wow, wow. Cozy fleece. Cozy, the bottom cozy. is cozy as well. It's cozy. also fleece. Oh, cozy, cozy. All right, so let's do a quick get ready with me. Uh, just came back from the dermatologist. Um, and the plan is to go on Accutane. Now, you're probably thinking, Joe, why are you going on Accutane? Your skin looks very clear right now. You don't need to go on it. And you know what? My skin is very clear right now. Um, however, I've been dealing with chronic cystic acne since you know end of high school, university. Um, and I did the whole Accutane thing before, but I still get these very cystic breakouts along the jawline that may not be visible on camera but they're like nodular and they're painful and it's just so annoying because it comes on a pretty regular basis. I was talking to my dermatologist about starting a very very low dose of Accutane to kind of help maintain um, you know being acne free yeah which means I gotta do the whole blood work thing um and just kind of see where it goes i'm at this point where i know you know which foods break me out etc but i still get these regular breakouts and just dealing with adult acne acne scarring especially having to be on camera and create video content um you know it's just a little bit frustrating the dosage we're starting off with is very very low i think we talked about 10 milligram three times a week and usually with agutane it's like 100 milligrams a day is common. So hopefully it's gonna help mitigate the side effects of Accutane while keeping my clear skin and kind of acne at bay. So that's kind of like the thought process. So yes, right now my skin is very clear, um, but I know, you know, in a couple weeks it will break out. I will have those like cystic acne along my jaw on my cheeks, in my forehead, wherever. So I'm just really trying to prevent it at this point. Kind of doing whatever I can and just being transparent with you guys. Um, I'm gonna try the Tower 28 blush again. I'm just gonna do one dot this time and just kind of pat that out. Ooh, that is pretty. Like, are you seeing the dewiness of that as well? We're just gonna do one here as well. Let's also put some on the lips because it's supposed to be like a multi. But yeah, I'm just hoping that the side effects won't be you know, anything crazy. I remember when I was on the full dosage of Accutane back in university, um, oh man, the lips, your skin, and just nosebleeds, and your joints are achy. I'm just hoping it's not gonna be anything close to that. Like the dermatologist mentioned, we're not really gonna know until we start. See how it goes. Finishing off with that Merit lip oil. It's in the color taupe. Next up, gonna head to the studio. Got a pretty busy work day, and then I got the sewing class this evening. Here first, folks. Mike Downey, neck gone. Why? Oh, for your appointment? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's a fucking mission. <laughs> You're doing great.